All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today I'm showing you a lower body workout. Started off with some broad jumps, just to, you know, light up the central nervous system, get the mind thinking fast, thinking explosive. I'm gonna have a whole video on this. I don't care if you're interested or not, I'm making a video on it. Uh, so what I do with these broad jumps, I'll start off with a decent manageable distance. I set up one of those, um, I guess rubber rubber tiles that are soundproof that I use for deadlifting and I land on it move the bench a couple inches back per set maybe one there you go I just did it right there and uh, go from there until I reach a manageable distance where I have to put all my effort in and as you just saw flash on the screen I alternate this with my sumo deadlift warm-ups or really whatever warm-up I'm doing for that day whatever lower body movement I'm doing for that day so let's say I hit the 135 for deadlifts go hit a couple of broad jumps go load on some more weight 225 and go from there once I get into my main work sets the broad jumps pretty much stop so it's almost like if you can imagine the frequency or the the amount of broad jumps I'm doing goes down as the higher uh, the deadlift or squat weight, whatever I'm doing for that day is. So it's almost like an inverse chart as the weight gets heavier for the main movement, the amount of sets of broad jumps or amount of reps slowly goes down. So this is about the furthest I got for that day. Uh, I think I measured it's about what nine feet I'm I, I I'm not to be honest I neglected shit like this for so many years I don't expect to be set in world records uh, I just want to feel explosive and over time feel like I'm jumping I don't know half a foot further like I don't really have many uh, goals for that I just want to do them keep the type 2 muscle fibers firing remain explosive it's important for pretty much anyone it's like the use it or lose it principle so here's one of my first sets, 405 for five. I got to tinker around with sumo again. Ever since I got sick, uh, I used to have my sumo form dialed in. Now, not so much. So my strategy going forward, I'm not going to do sumos on my heavier day. I'm going to do them more so on my a lighter day or dynamic day and then sprinkle in a heavy set or work up in it here and there. Because I feel like when I do sumo deadlifts, sure, I'm getting adductors and like the wide stance and the hips. Sure, I'm getting that work in there, but uh, it feels a bit too much like just like a wide stance conventional. So I feel like if I lower the weight, maybe put some bands or chains so it's lighter at the bottom and I can teach myself to maintain in that proper position, I feel like that's a good strategy going forward. I feel like that's something I've done in the past and I've just kind of lost my way over time where obsessing about weight, which is never really a good thing if you're not accomplishing your goal. Then secondary movement of the day, Zercher lunges, three sets of eight to 10. These actually smoke your legs, surprisingly. Maybe it has something to do with the bar being in a lower position. Uh, it hits your core, hits your upper back, probably not so much like a front rack reverse lunge but there was something especially my glutes there was something about the bar being in that position because i've done more weight than this not zercher style and i definitely don't remember feeling as sore as i was after doing these so give these a try especially if you're a combat athlete football player whatever and especially if you need the overall amount of weight to be lighter and you want them to be challenging in a different way, this is a really good strategy in my opinion. Then just to break up the workout, 50 reps total of club swings. I believe I got 40 pounds on there, 30 pounds. I can't really tell. Um, this is really good for your lats. It's really good for the long head of your triceps. It's really good for your obliques. It, grip i i've made videos on this before this is just a great exercise i don't really necessarily think clubs clubs and maces are better suited for lower or upper body days because i feel like they just hit so much muscle that there's no point pigeonholing them then there's reverse hypers i did 60 reps total it was i believe it was sets of 15 uh, i'm finally used to this movement 
just in general to where I feel comfortable loading up more weight uh, without swinging it so hard. I see so many people doing the reverse hyper with so much weight. And like, to me, if your first rep, you can't get all the way up, that's more of doing the exercise to get a stretch in your lower back, which is not a bad thing, but I have plenty of other exercises I can do that with. And then just to finish, to build up some quads and some knee health, this is really, really good if you feel like you have creaky knees. There's so many different ways you could do them. I just went with like the standard way where you hold on to something with one arm. And I was going until my knees were about kissing the floor. And then I basically just did a leg extension on the way up to fully contract the quadricep muscles. Like I said, this is a great variation, doesn't have a high energy cost, and it's really good for your knees. But that's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, do all that good shit, and as always, have yourself a great day.